She's the GM. She's the one that's manipulating people. Maybe we should cut this. We cut this. Cut that. 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 She's the GM. My good friend just experienced a PUA. I tell you, she's really, really sad. Because they can. Because they can get away with it. I guess make their numbers or their stats look better as a boss. While putting pressure on people that feel like they have to say yes. People like to abuse that power. They will make up for their insecurities by abusing that power to control people. Yesterday, I was talking with a friend who recently got fired not long ago, and she worked there for five years. And even after five years, the boss was saying like. On a regular basis, like, do you really think that we can't live without you? Like, do you really think that we need you? He's her boss. Like, what can she do? She need the money. If somebody shout at me like that way, I would probably just quit. Somebody they they just wanna、um, survive or they they really need a job. So in that case, they will stay. But most of the time, I think people need to be respect. The workplace I had in Shanghai, there was definitely more pressure on the local. Workers, the, the people from Shanghai, to do things that they wouldn't ask foreign workers to do. More pressure on workers to do things maybe that are outside of your responsibilities or hours. If a corporate or if a manager is actually doing his really his work and manage people in a really good way, then that would do. It doesn't require people to like adding extra heavy like pressurized items or maybe like orders and to do unnecessary things. I don't think this is healthy for a company in long term. Yeah, or even like in short term, it's not that good for mental health. A lot of them, like any of us, have appointments and families and lives outside of work. And when you go to work and any random day, you might be told you have to stay hours past when you were supposed to leave. I'm sure a lot of them have. Appointments and family events that they're missing out on, but feel like they they have to say yes. So, yeah, it probably takes quite a toll. My brother is a psychologist. I think he's getting popular <laughs> because he got more businesses on、um, um, helping people who got the, the issues.、Um, yeah, not only just people who work in the company, but also in the school. The students they、uh, they, they they got a, like a, they got the same problem too from their peers. I think, compared to the big cities, the mental health is much more important. In the work environment, the big cities will have more employees. The moral support will also be more. They will be able to control you from a moral standpoint. They will say, "You are not doing what is right. You 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 are not doing what is right. 就是领导啊，他就为了达达取某些利益嘛，他就 PUA 的话，他能就是就是以更少的那个钱去换更多的那个劳动。情感 PUA 我觉得挺常见的吧。现在就是怎么说呢？随着都市生活压力很大吧，我觉得很多男性在就是控制欲方面都比较强。所以我之前我一朋友也是经历过一段，我认为他是被 PUA 吧，因为。她的男朋友一直就是说啊，你不行，然后你比较笨，然后你又不够瘦，你身材不够好，你腰不够细。我觉得都是在经历 PUA 吧。可能女生一开始觉得可能哈、啊，我有不够优秀吗？然后后期的觉得我我可能觉得哎，我可能是要改变一点点。如果是好朋友的话，我都会给到一些建议，但是这些只是说一些建议了。但是他他的事儿还是要他自己去拿主意，因为有的时候他可能深陷在 PUA 里边，他可能自己是不自知的。PUA 就是啊，就是在某一段感情关系中其中的一方，然后去对另一方进行一些精神上的打压，造成一些精神内耗之类的问题。我的好朋友就经历过 PUA， 我跟你说，他真的特别。特别可怜，看到一个原本比较自信的一个女生，就真的开始，就是会很怀疑自己，然后每天晚上就开始哭。I think in the West,、uh, people are more open to talk about these kind of things, especially if you look at the USA.、Um, I think it's not a problem in the USA to say, "Hey, I'm seeing a psychiatrist. I'm seeing my、uh, therapist. I'm talking to a person to just have a better understanding of myself and、uh, be less anxious and have less mental problems." 
Uh, in Europe, it's still a little bit of a taboo topic to say that you're seeing a psychiatrist or, or a therapist. But I guess here in China, I've actually never heard of anybody yeah. saying like, hey, I have some some issues with myself and I would like to have a professional to talk to. Um, to be very honest, I've never heard of that. So I guess here it's still a little more uh, unheard of and secret. Um, so if that's what you define as worse, then uh, yeah, it's a little bit different here at least. 你的内耗也好，你的这个精神打压也好，都不如说你有一技之长，然后能够发挥你的所长，来的更更更实际一点吧。就是你想到的这些精神问题还，还你还没有解决温饱的情况下，这都不叫问题了。I think Chinese are sometimes more reluctant to speak up about when they're、um, experiencing trouble. They might be more、uh, embarrassed or maybe a bit ashamed to say they need help. Uh, there might be sort of a saving face. I think in the Western countries that used to be the case for mental health, people thought it as a thing to be、um, ashamed upon. But now there's a great recognition that、um, everyone in,、um, can sort of suffer from it, and it's important that we all are there for each other.、Um, and I think China is also moving in the direction of being more aware of mental health issues as well. For me, for mental health, you don't be shy to share. I, I think、um, most of us will think、uh, mental health is is one of、uh, one of the problem that we we to embarrass、uh, embarrass to share because people might think we are not、uh, normal. 多运动，多看书，然后多听听音乐，多做自己喜欢做的事儿，然后多跟朋友聊天，多聚会，多聊天，这是很重要的，因为你可以听到很多。就是你这个圈子以外的东西，会让自己开心快乐起来了。职场也好，说情感也好，都是要靠你自己去走出来的。Of course, you need to stood up or stand up for yourself. This is so important. If that is second, if it didn't sort out, like the manager doesn't approve you or doesn't got your back, maybe you need to quit the environment if it's really toxic. But if not, I think、um, personally for me, I would do more spots or maybe like see for other opportunities out there. And then like today, the sky is so pretty. Like you need to enjoy your life, anyways. In Hong Kong, the level of mental health awareness and especially in the workplace is pretty low compared to where I'm from, at least, which is the the UK. Not that we do everything well, but just in general, I would say people don't talk about it. People don't want to hear it if you're not feeling good. It's not something that is very openly promoted amongst、uh, people in Hong Kong, so definitely needs a lot of work, especially in the workplace. Stick together and then stand up,、huh? because if the boss is manipulating one by one,、uh, it, it's 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 a hard or difficult situation because it, it's not peer to peer. But if they stand up as a group and go as a group to, to higher management, that they can、uh, tackle the situation. I know some people in Sweden like they、uh, started to use、uh, some on, some app to know people from overseas. So that's also a way. Just keep, you, you just really have to talk to someone, so that will make you feel better. Actually, I think "自私" has never been a negative word. "Self" is a very general word. It's actually a very loving thing. It just needs to do. 呃，知道自己目前阶段想要什么。OK， 他我可以想要工作，我就天天去努力工作。我可以想要爱情，但是并不是完全扑身在一个人身上。你扑身在一个人身上的时候，你肯定不管是体型啊，呃什么的形象也不重注重管理，我就完全一门心思的给他，呃反而越来越不值钱，越来越被 PUA。当他觉得你就哎就那样的时候，就烂了。Just make love no work。